Alright guys, so obviously I gotta finish the card, start, show start before I could finish everything. It's all good though, um, just bear with me for one second. For some reason it always kicks it here on Raw, I don't know why it does that. That's how we're gonna get Monday Night Raw started. Sonya versus Bailey. Apologize, you guys. Give me one second. John Cena will not face that. All right, here we go. That's Sony versus Bailey, Drew McIntyre, Cena, Austin Theory, T. Ric Flair, and the main event, Scott Hall. It's a good main event. All right, let's get SmackDown officially underway. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Tremendous attitude, MMA background, yeah. punch you right in your face. Yeah, Sonya Deville once said she feels like she was placed on this earth to hurt people. Sonya Deville, she's made history milestones. She competed in the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match, Elimination Chamber match, even the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal.
Well, she was once one of the sweetest. She's now one of the meanest. And from San Jose, California, Bailey. Hey, despite what you think about Bailey, there's no denying what she's accomplished. The first Grand Slam champion in the women's division. And yeah, there's also no denying that Bailey has no problem stepping on anyone along the way. Because Bailey thanks herself for all of her accomplishments. And you can't argue with the results. Bailey knows how to win. Corey, you think she can be great on commentary with you? I have my doubts, but let's just have Bailey stick to the ring where she's at her best. I mean, this table already has its role model. Thank you. These superstars seem eager to go after each other. And in this no disqualification match, they're free to be as barbaric as they want. Without the rules to rein them in, there's no telling what these competitors are capable of. They'll go to any brutal lengths to win. I'm just glad we have EMT standing by. Heel lock locked in. This is painful. A quick reversal by Bailey. Nice takedown. Yo, what's up, Rev? Dishing out a suplex. And set him up. Oh, I need him here. That's going to hurt. Reversal on DeVille. You know, a false count anywhere match is a really exciting opportunity. It really allows you to get creative and take the action to somewhere you have the advantage. That's certainly one way of looking at what many would characterize as an incredibly dangerous match type. And Sonya avoids that one. Look at this, going counter for counter. Counter after counter. Coming in hot. She's taking this outside. This Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of there. She's still got plenty of fight left in. Trying to counter, dropping shots. Gets inside the ring. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your depth here. Oof. She returns the favor there. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. Hung across the middle rope. Taking this to the floor. Hit. On the line. That offense taking a toll on her. Ooh, nice takedown. Bailey's looking dangerous in there. Bailey's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. So take things into the ring. And now she's looking to go top rope. Climbs back inside. From the top. Double axe handle. And it's DeVille sent to the outside. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? She's into the ring again. This one's about to be over! Oh, and a belly! We got a cover! One, two! So get a belly over a pinfall there. Incredible! What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I mean, Bailey could be thinking about the end. There's the rose plant. Is it enough for Bailey? Cover! Two! What a kick out. She's not done yet. What is it going to take to keep her down? The answer might be more than her opponent can offer. And he had to think how much of a setback that could be for Bailey. She now knows her best wasn't good enough there. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. 
Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Kick right to the leg. Right across the face. Shinbreaker. Not done yet. Dragon screw. And Bailey connected nicely there. Oh, kick connects. That is scouted. Over the 10th Street Slam. Reversal on DeVille. Oh, what a double axe handle. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Just hell bent on finishing things right now. Oh, look out. Face crusher. She'll need some serious recovery time after this. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. And a suplex. DeVille was ready there. She manages to get control. Oh, and that buys some time. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Oh! Right to the back. Target acquired and destroyed. Nice transition over the triangle armbar. Oh, the triangle armbar submission. Does that finish Bailey off? Ah, oh, Bailey's dream's about to end here in this match. Can she hang on? Can she hold on? We're finding out what Bailey... Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Nasty! He got the shoulders down! One, two, breaks the count! This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. There she goes! With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Bailey did her homework there. Oh, what a wind up. Overhand connects. She avoids the contact. Heartbreaker. Sonya's getting up, but has no idea what's coming her way. Oh, here it comes. A side slam. Wow, just as effective as her opponent. Two. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. That couldn't put her away. In fact, I think it made her angrier. And Bailey can barely believe it. Bailey had her dead to right. Thought she had the three, but it was a factor of milliseconds. How much longer can these superstars continue? Quick to the gun. Uh-oh. Look out. Spike with a little crack. Can Bailey take advantage? and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say. A great win for Bailey to kick off SmackDown this week. Alright, up next, John Cena back in action on SmackDown after you know, we haven't seen John Cena in nearly over a month after losing at Extreme Rules in the first blood match. He returns tonight to face Drew McIntyre. This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre.
The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania where he became WWE Champion. Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and on. He has won Royal Rumbles, Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. Yeah, as fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. One thing you have to respect about Drew McIntyre is his unshakable confidence. Every time he heads to the ring, he does so knowing he's got all the courage and strength he needs to win the match. It's an attitude that served him well and maybe the ticket to him grabbing another win here. And across the way as one of the most formidable opponents in all of WWE, John Cena, a competitor who's been called Big Match up high. To the win. Two. No kick out for Drew McIntyre. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Waist lock. Oh, Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Give up now. Slow. Nice escape. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. And another counter. Right to the gut. Something that sticks out to me about Drew McIntyre across his matches is his incredible tenacity. Do you think that gives him an edge tonight? I do, Cole. Drew McIntyre doesn't have one single ounce of quit in him. He knows that all that stands between him and a win here tonight is his own. Here we go. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Hoist it up. He's adamant about this setup. Enough already. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Now he's been put on the defensive. Ha! Side rock slam. Almost drove him through the ring. There's two, and they kick out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Drew fending him off. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, really just laying it in. And Cena's able to avoid. Powerless position to be in right now. Watch face first. Cena ready to close it out. You can't see me. Enough. Shuffle. He moves just in time. And Cena with the work with all the counter. He just punched him in the chest. McIntyre vulnerable here. Trademark staying power that John Cena 
possesses. McIntyre won't lose focus, though. He's got to remain as sharp as he was a few moments ago. Future shot DDT. There's two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. He just won't give up. trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. You can't see him. sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely not. Cena thinking high risk. Oh, this is going to be over if it hits. On the second row. trouble now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. Boom! Oh, sent flying. The countdown is on, gentlemen. McIntyre, sight set. Claymore kick. Will Drew finish was an awesome win for this young man. One of the biggest in his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. John Cena's return to SmackDown comes up short against Drew McIntyre. Big win for the Scotsman. So I forgot to change matches, uh, change the match type. That was 100% my fault. Even though it's just I was counting anywhere, it don't matter. But tonight, Jey Uso versus Austin Theory. The Usos will get their tag team title rematch at Payback against the Way. So we'll see what happens then. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Usos. From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, Jay Uso. Main event, Jay Uso. The right hand man to the head of the table has held many tag team championships, but won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal main evented the sky is the limit for Jey Uso
Get ready for a showcase of reasons why everyone should follow the way. Austin Theory is an incredible physical talent, but not always so bright. And his opponent representing the way from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. The highly sought after talent has been brought under the wing of competitors like Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano. Here we finally have a match that can settle the score. No disqualification match, win by pinfall or submission, but anything goes in this type of match as well. These superstars didn't want the rule book to restrict them. Didn't want anything holding them back. German suplex. Oh, misses the mark. Stomping down. So much damage inflicted. Some good contact by Jey Uso. On point. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. And Theory able to adapt. That was just disrespectful. Theory falls kind of into a match can turn an entire arena upside down. How can a superstar put themselves in a position to win? A competitor must put themselves in a position of power, a position of control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take any... Can he do it here? some damage already. From the top, diving headbutt. Jay has become relentless, but Theory can't allow this rush to discourage him. Theory is out of the way. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, look at the clothesline. Determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Kick to the midsection. Oh, look at this. Oh, the taxi. Jay is down and out. Two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. I do not know how they got up from that. Yeah, operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes or the fact that he hasn't finished this. Or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. from the top turnbuckle. From the top! There's a fisherman suplex! He thinks he has it! Oh man, I thought Jay Uso was down for three! Close one! Holy moly, how? Just fell short. Well, it's 
to the point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? There he's struggling to defend himself. A fully focused top row. one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. And another WWE superstar goes down courtesy of Jay Uso and the Uso Penitentiary. Byron, I bet I could sell you for honey buns in the Uso Penitentiary. What a great match between Jay Uso and Austin Theory. The Usos in the way for the tag team titles at Payback. Two weeks, less than 10 days from now. Great win by Jay Uso here tonight on SmackDown. Up next, Kofi Kingston will take on Walter. Like I said, I forgot to change all the false count anywhere matches, so they're not really false count anywhere, but it does happen. So, Kofi versus Walter up next on SmackDown. Presenting the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. The nearly bottomless energy of Kofi Kingston. It's infectious, guys. The ring general has arrived. The longest reigning NXT UK champion ever. One of the most powerful and calculating superstars this industry has ever seen. And his opponent representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds. been UK champion for over 800 days. That marks the longest title reign since Hulk Hogan's first WWE championship. Well, let's not get carried away now. It's not like he's battling the likes of Randy Savage, Andre the Giant. Hey, facts are facts, Michael. And right now, Walter seems unstoppable. But I agree with your point, Byron. He has been an incredible champion. Unbelievable. Over 800 days. If somehow Walter's massive frame doesn't overpower you, his grappling skills absolutely will. The ring general about to remind the world why the mat is sacred to him. Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. 
no doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match launching on the top of the diving hammer strike. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. What reflexes to stop Kofi? What a chop! Oh, that'll light up your chest. Oh, he retaliates. Hanging back with their own counter. Double under hook. Driven down with a power bomb. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. Check out this. Oh, that could be it. The shoulder just gets up. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. He switches it back around. stage where someone's gonna have to shift it into another gear. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. I don't like the look in his eye. Taking flight. Oh, man, did you see the height? He's struggling a bit here. But you have to admit, at this point in a falls count anywhere match, there's no way you didn't expect things to be going much, much worse for him, Cole. Oh, 
control. DDT. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move to make, you hit from the middle rope. Oh, a splash. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. this out. Here we go. This is going to be it. If this lands, it is over. On the top rope. This is, this is insane. Oh, Avalanche Powerbomb. Come on, Kofi. Get up. Cover. One, two. Oh, my. Still alive. Such heart being shown tonight. Somehow, Kofi is still in this. Kofi's got more guts than brains. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, it, and I'm right there with them. Bullseye with the drop kick. This couldn't do it! One, two! Kicks out. He still has life. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Blast off! Oh, the finds the mark with a leg drop. He's looking poised to finish Walter off. We can't take any more of that. This must be over. Two count. And that's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, Kofi. Kofi Kingston, so impressive tonight. Kofi wins. Kofi wins because New Day rocks. New Day rocks. Sit down, Saxton. What a matchup between Kofi and Walter. Here on SmackDown, both fought to the end. Walter with the powerbomb off the top rope. Thought that it would have been it, but Kofi rebounded. Trouble in Paradise, and Kofi Kingston wins here on SmackDown. All right, up next, ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair's big ring debut on SmackDown against Booker T. Of course, Ric Flair. We'll challenge Edge for the World Heavyweight Championship at Payback. Sixteen time champ, two time Hall of Famer, and the one and only Nature Boy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. I tell you what, when you watch a Nature Boy make an entrance, this is the true definition of a man who owns the spotlight. Come on, Corey, let's do it together. Woo! Byron, don't you ever do that again in your life. The dirtiest player in the game. The epitome of an all-time great. Never looked better. Here comes the two-time, two-time, and his opponent 
from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. Booker T, he says to gain respect, you gotta earn respect. Well, Booker T has lived by that motto, which is why he is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated athletes the industry has ever known. And Booker T, so much fun to watch. One of the all-time greats. I hope he wins so he can do that spinner Rooney. Think about everything Booker T has accomplished. 15-time tag team champion, 35 major titles, the most decorated WCW competitor with similar WWE success. That's like a title for every year you've been alive, Saxton. Ric Flair set for competition, without a doubt, one of the greatest superstars of all time, especially one of the most highly decorated. Flair has done it all in this business, but he still wants to prove he's still got it and can still go inside a WWE ring. Well, the Nature Boy will certainly have the chance here, but he better brace for impact because across the way is Booker T. A Watch out! And Flair with the ring IQ to counter. Ric Flair knocked him. <laughs> Tearing down the leg now. Oh, running elbow drop on target. Oh, side coming. Flair gets out of there. Booker T escapes danger. Ah. Oh, reversal catches Booker T. Uh-oh. Position in. Measuring. In. Oh! Knee drop. in this business. How do you strategize for such a battle-tested veteran? Cole, the obvious answer is go to the tape. Between WCW and WWE, almost all of Booker T's biggest matches are out there to be analyzed and deconstructed until you've figured out the perfect way to defeat him. You just gotta do your homework. Straining that trapezius muscle. Making that shoulder a priority. And Booker T escapes danger. And Drake going to float over. That was pretty. Great reaction from Ric Flair. Oof, that'll leave a mark. Ripcord. Saxton.
That's how you stop your opponent. Edge and Booker T and uh, Edge and Ric Flair, World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as those two will fight at Payback in two weeks. Ric Flair with a quick win over Booker T here tonight. But hey, all right, here we go. The main event here on SmackDown. The NWO reforms Scott Hall versus Roman Reigns tonight on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Nash, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. comes the big dog And his opponent, accompanied by The Rock, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. About five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table.
protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now is tougher than ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Scott Hall versus Roman Reigns. In two weeks, it will be the NWO versus The Rock and Roman Reigns at payback. Roman beat Kevin Nash at SummerSlam. Hogan beat The Rock. Inside the ring, and he has some business to conduct here tonight as he aims to trample his opposition. And he's gonna have to deal with the bad guy himself, one of the toughest men on God's green earth. All spot demons that would break a lesser man, but against all odds, he's still here. Through the highs and lows, Hall would be the first to tell you bad times don't last, but bad guys do. It's more than his smarts and his strength that make Hall a tough Chico. It's resilience that makes him special. And Hall's resilience being put to the test there. Yeah, Roman's taking that no-frills, all-business approach there. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid-fire punches. And Roman just... With punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop. Seeing the matches of Scott Hall here tonight. Oh, Barbaric amount of stops. Hogan not here tonight on SmackDown. The stop in every single part of his body. Ah, oh, what a smack cover. Shoulders are down. All Roman here in this one so far. What's he thinking now? He's thinking he's not finished. He wants to stop a hole in him. Boy, this match is over. All right, well, obviously the NWO the, will face Rock and Roman Reigns at payback in 10 days from now. Up next week, Scott Hall will face The Rock. In a one on one matchup, so we'll see what happens then. Thank you guys so much for watching on SmackDown. We're one week away next time by for payback. As we get the stage set for the World Heavyweight title match, the women's title match, the Divas title, and the tag team, the tag team, the world title, the payback. So SmackDown's got big matches at payback. So we'll see you guys then on next week's SmackDown.